Hey guys, it's K7, and today I have a little surprise bonus video for you guys. I've decided to update the Citra Emulator CIA to 3DS Converter video. This is one of the most popular videos on my channel, and it's doing really well. A lot of people seem to be having a problem with converting CIAs to 3DS files, and I understand people want to play their games. That's cool and all. So for those people and for people in the future that may have some problems, I've decided to update this video. I found a few interesting things and the could not find extender file fix is included within this video. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to wherever you have your 3DS to CIA converter and put it on your main C drive desktop. A lot of times when the program is trying to pull files and resources it needs, sometimes it can't do it in an external hard drive. So make sure it's on your C drive that your Windows is installed on. Once you do that, you can go ahead and open it. So go ahead and find it and open it. So as you can see here, I have my 3DS to CIA converter and a converted CIA copy of Animals Ultra Moon. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know what that is, but anyway, I digress. You, you don't even have to take a second guess with that. You know what this is. But anyways, so sometimes you may get an error saying could not find extender file, could not find ROM file, something like that. So, you know, if you get that message, I have the answer because I've been playing around with this converter for quite a while now and I found out a few things about it. I found some files that I needed and yeah, the problem is solved with the extender file not being able to be read during the conversion process because I've actually found that file. It's working, so I'll go ahead and convert something for you just so you can see that it's working but I'm just gonna also add the extender file just in case you need it just in case your CIA to 3ds converter asks you for that extender file most likely in most cases it does also you want to have the MSVCR 71 deal within the contents of the CIA to 3ds converter folder as well all the links for the extender files and the deal file will be linked down there in the description so don't worry about that you can get it there okay so let's delete this and let's go ahead and start converting I may not get the error but I'm just saying just in case you get the error the files are there for the extender file in the MS VCR 71 deal you can download those in the description so let's go ahead and start up the converter Okay, once the converter opens, you want to hit three and then six and then hit enter for each time you insert the number. Once you arrive at this window, you want to have highlighted and copied the whole name of the CIA that you want to convert and then just paste it in there like so. Hit enter. It'll say please wait and then you're going to wait a while. But while you're waiting, make sure that you don't touch anything because the converting process takes a lot of resources from your computer when converting. So try not to touch anything while it's converting. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up and I'll get back to you guys when it's finished. It'll say, congratulations, you're done. Hit enter. 
And now you can see we have a fully converted copy of Animals Ultra Moon ready to play for your Citra emulator. So that pretty much wraps things up for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below if you have any questions. Also, comment, share, and subscribe. Become a part of the notification squad by hitting the notification bell so you can get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. And make sure to hit that like button. I want to try to get a like goal of 1,000 likes for this video, so smash that like button, guys. And enjoy playing your fully converted games for Citra. Take care, guys. Until next time, this has been K7. Peace. Later.